What's up, my shining stars? Yeah, you, yeah, you shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. Nobody dim that light. Your light is your is is a part of you. It's important. You're appointed. You're anointed. You're chosen. You're you are you are all that in a bag. Whatever bag you want to put it in, you are all of that. So with that being said, you cannot dim your light. People are depending on you to lead them out of the darkness. That is that is major, and that is what's that is 100. All right. So own it. Own up to who you are and how important you are, and don't let no, nobody knock you off your throne, right? My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, all about the healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my ride and dies. It's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you guys mwah, 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 for all that you do, all the all the uh emojis all the uh messages and all of the uh positive energy that you sent my way thank you so very 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 much all right for the new subscribers i'm honored and welcome for my um energy exchange donations tips whatever you want to call it Thank you. Right back at you. 10, 20, 100 fold. Whatever you sow into this channel, you shall reap 100 fold, right? Whatever spirit deems to set in your life, whatever you need. On the flip side, for those of you that are sending massive energy my way, negative energy my way, it's unwarranted. It's, it, I'm going to rebuke it. It is rebuked. It is rejected. I don't know where that energy is getting ready to sit, but not here. You're blocked. You will be stopped. Um, and that is 100. I give it a uh, two with all the power and anointing that the divine himself has given me. I do not accept it. You have you, And you do not have permission to do anything concerning this channel. It's not yours. It's mine. It is. And it is and will be a success one way or another i will not be knocked off my throne i am vi vibing high will vibe high smelling good looking good won't stop can't stop and ain't getting ready to be uh bothered with your foolishness all right so with that being said it is so so be it and i shay all right so what we're doing today we are honoring the sign of pisces bam there it is pisces all right so what we got going on today is just i'm gonna read i'm gonna read the cards what they may mean then i'm gonna read the energy and give you what you need it's gonna be a quick energy check quick sucker punch and out all right okay so your overall energy pisces is the queen of winter the Queen of Winter is the Queen of Swords in Tarot. All right. So, um, what you are, Pisces, you are a water sign. However, what the energy that I'm getting off of this and why this card came out is because something that has transpired in your life has placed you in a position where you are um, exhibiting um, or you are in the swords you're you're you are in this energy of the queen of swords is what i'm saying okay something has happened you are um not tolerating a lot of foolishness you're not like i just said this is the energy you're in you are not you rebuking you're stopping you're not letting people um sway you you're not letting people come in and take advantage of you you are strictly in your power you are strictly not um accepting um you're not you 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 are a water sign it's in your nature to be nurturing and loving and kind and you still all of that however right now at, because something has transpired in your life you're not accepting um uh, people places and things that 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 do not deserve that nurturing do not deserve that 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 side of you you are definitely stepping into the queen of swords 
energy and um the queen of swords don't play the queen of swords don't play she's logical she's cold she has that sword up and she wish a she wish a come and mess with her now you can fit that you could fit a word in there, fit your own word up in there with that, what that mean for you. But she wish a, she wish a would step because this sword going to cut you up. You're going to get cut up messing around with the queen of swords. Okay. So, um, something has happened. You're very strong right now. This car says strong patient selfish selfish uh sufficient and funny so funny what i'm getting off of that why that says funny is because you wish somebody would and it's going to be really really funny how you're going to cut them up and keep on stepping they're not going to see they're not going to see this side these people who whatever this is that you're dealing with they ain't never seen this side of you and fit you wherever it goes, wherever it fit in. They haven't seen the side of you. They haven't seen, they only seen the loving, kind, affectionate, um, you know, really, really trying to work with you, really trying to compromise. They've never seen this aspect of you. You've changed. You've changed your tone concerning someone, concerning something. You've changed your perspective. And you just not, you've made up your mind. You're just not allowing people to come in. See how she's in this sled? <laughs> you and pulled up, baby. Whoever you are, and fit you where it go in. Where Wherever this, somebody and walked away from somebody, somebody and rolled off in the sunset because they refuse to keep on um, giving somebody a chance. They keep on keep uh, trying to compromise, trying to be, um, to give nurturing and loving and somebody just is not giving them, giving this person what they deserve. So this person then got in a sleigh and, 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 and ride and riding off. Now, while she riding off or he riding off, they got their sword up for you. They've made up their mind. They are not going to put up with foolishness, foolish people, foolishness. They got the sword up. They own guard and they are willing to slice and dice you up if you're not for the right and you're not going to treat them right. It says, let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Ain't that what I just said? It says, now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried of divorced individuals. So you could, you this could be somebody, this could be um someone who... Um, is getting a divorce, refuse to work on a marriage, and is getting a divorce. They want to be single. They getting ready to move on, ride out in the sunset. They have done their time in this marriage, and they riding off. This could be um, somebody that's single that has been dating and dating someone, and this person just not they just they just not mar marriage material, and. You're tired. You're tired of waiting on this person. You're tired of them trying to get, trying to wait on them to get themselves together. And you just ain't got in the sleigh, and you just about to ride on out. You know, um, this could be any scenario, but this is what I'm getting. I mean, this per whoever you are, or whoever this per this person is, fully persuaded. Fully, they done. Whoever this is, is done. It's cold outside. It's freezing outside. This person in the sleigh. They really don't can care less about what's going on around them. They know that they need to get to point. They need to get to point A from point A to point B. And they won't do it by any means necessary. All right. That's what I'm getting there. This could be a Capricorn man, a masculine energy, male or female. It, it could be an earth sign, okay? It could be any earth sign, but specifically Capricorn. Earth sign is Taurus, Virgo. It could be any of those that's dealing with a Pisces or vice versa. Fit it in where you, or you may be on here. You may be a Capricorn and you, you are dealing with a Pisces. So, any, any, either or. 
some kind of okay we got libra man so we got two masculines so very well could be be a feminine that's on here or a feminine pisces that but this also like i said leo energy here it could be a um, fire sign. It could be a Sagittarius or Aries. But um, the masculine energy could be female as well. It does not have to be a male. Because we all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay? All right. So, now, it could very well be somebody that you work with. This could be a work situation where you um, are working with someone and you was just kind and loving and affectionate with this person. And um, you accept the compassionate compromise with this person that you, this is a co-worker. It could be a co-worker, but now you have um, flipped the switch because you have learned some type of secret. You've learned something about this person. You learned this person that wasn't who true or who they say they uh, were. And you've, you've, you, you flipped. Somebody flipped here and they're, they are no longer who, who they used to be. They flip, they are the queen of swords and they wish they got, they got, they sword up and they not, they not taking nobody's crap. Okay. So Pisces, this could be you. I read this as you not being in your energy and that you flip to, uh, because something transpired and you flip to be into this queen, but it could be vice versa. It could be, um, whoever is here. You know, whoever, the cross watcher, it could very well be you that's turned into the queen of swords because of a Pisces. All right. But some type of secret has been revealed. And what transpired happened in the situation that uh, that made um, someone switch from being one way to another way. Ice cold, um, relentless. Um, this, uh, this person here is self-sufficient they are cold they are logical they're not gonna put up with no bs they're not gonna tolerate no bs they're not gonna tolerate any lies they're not gonna tolerate it and when these secrets came out this person automatically went to um swords energy because somebody lied somebody was not truthful somebody was not honest somebody was pretending to be something that they are not and when that came out, then it changed the dynamics of that relationship. So this could be a co-worker who were not, it says co-worker, you know, that came out for a reason. So it could very well be somebody you're working with, somebody you want to work with, somebody that want to work with you, but they are not who they say they are. There is something going on with them. I don't know if they're gossiping about you. They really don't like you. They really don't, they, they not really truthful and honest um, about their feelings about you. It's something, some kind of secret that's been revealed. You know the secret now, because that's why you're in this energy. You know about it. Now, I <laughs> this one right here, I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. It says wedding rings. I want to put a ring on it. So it could very well be a co-worker that was working with you that um, was hiding the fact that they have feelings for you and they want to put a ring on it. They really want to marry you. They really want to be with you. But they was pretending like uh, they just wanted, they was content with just being a friend. Um, it could be a masculine energy that's at work, that really wanted something more from you. Okay, and so um, this very well could be, is this, we gotta go. <laughs> um, but, cause I like to dig deep and finish it off, but the, the gist of this is someone is either working with you, wanna work with you, or is going to work with you. Things are going to be, they're gonna put, uh, Put on a persona that you and the, you and them are just friends. They want to be your friend. They're content with being your friend, but they're not. The secret is going to come out. This person very well could be married already. They could be married already and secretly want to be with you. Secretly want to put you in a third party. Secretly want to 
um, have sex with you, secretly want to involve you um, in a relationship, okay? Or it definitely could be a co-worker who has, um, is um, admiring you, is a secret admirer to you, want more from you, but you are not interested in this person. You thought that you and this person was just friends. It's a work thing. You don't mix business with ple pleasure. You've learned your lesson about um, um, dating people at work, and you're just not going to tolerate um, that kind of thing, okay, is what I'm getting from here. Or take the work thing out of it. You got somebody here that was not, that wants to put a ring on it, wants to marry you, half put a ring on it. Okay, so what I'm getting here is somebody asks you to marry them and they still marry. Someone asks you to marry them and they are, they have a mistress or they have, it's some kind of, some, some, some kind of injustice with this. Okay, I can't really get deep down into it because I... I don't have a lot of time, but somebody, the gist of it is this, open your eyes, use your intuition. Somebody is not being, the, 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 the truth is somebody is not being honest. A secret is being, getting ready to be revealed or your last one is somebody getting ready to put a ring on it and they've been holding on, uh, holding the secret about it holding a secret about holding a secret asking your family waiting on that day to come and it's already planned out um this person already bought the ring and this person is getting ready to pop the question yeah yeah and it could very well be somebody you used to work with but now y'all dating y'all don't work together no more and now y'all dating and that person is getting ready to pop the question. All right. So your last advice card is, it says you're very close to achieving your goal. So um, the piggyback on what I just said, somebody is getting ready to ask somebody to marry them. They're very close. This, this date is coming very, very close. You about to get that ring. Um, but uh, for those of you that this doesn't resonate with, just know that whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you've been praying about, whatever it is that you're seeking to obtain this year, 2022, you're very close to achieving it. This is confirmation. You're very, very close to achieving that goal that you've been waiting. To, you've been waiting. Year after year after year, you've been putting it off. Year after year, you say, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. And, but this year, you're very, you're going you're gonna to make it happen this year. It's going to happen this year, 2022. Yeah, you're very close to achieving it. And what that is, is you're very close to having that positive, positive energy open up that door for this to happen in your life you will know it it's just gonna be come out the blue you're gonna get a phone call it's gonna come out the blue somebody gonna offer you something it's gonna come out the blue something it's gonna open that door for this to happen for you confirmation confirmed <laughs> all right so this is pisces pisces this has been your reading hit those comments let a sister know how she did hit those emojis let a sister know how she did all right subscribe all right thumbs up thumbs down just thumbs the video right it helps the channel right okay share 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 hit the uh hit the description box if you're new here hit the description box with a social media i'm sending I'm sending you love. I'm sending you healing. And Trinity is out.